How can you really know for sure that you're saved? I'm so glad that you're here. Welcome to Team Make Jesus Viral. My name is Gabe. I'm blessed to be one of the leaders here with you. I'm so excited about this video. Watch till the end to figure out how you can know for sure that you're saved, that you're going to heaven. It's so simple. Before I start, I just wanna say thank you for coming over from TikTok, Telegram, Instagram, wherever you came from. We are so glad that you're here. This video, because of the word of God, we believe is going to change your life. Before I start, let me pray. Father, I thank you for everyone watching this video. I thank you that their lives are beautiful, God, that you created them, that you have an amazing plan and purpose for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, before I start opening up the Bible, I encourage you, go grab your Bible. Go, go Google these scriptures. This is not me speaking. These are not my opinions. This isn't my theology speaking. This is what the Bible says. It's so amazing. First, let's turn to Romans chapter three. And I promise this video will be super quick because it's super, it's super simple. Romans chapter three. Now, let me, let me first say, and first I'll read this scripture. In Romans chapter 3, ah, hold on one second. Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, it says this. For all have sinned, Romans 3 and verse 23, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every single human separate of Jesus has fallen short. Every single human has, has made mistakes. Whether you've lied once, whether you've lied a million times, whether you've sinned once, whether you've sinned a million times, we are all sinners. And because of that sin, it's separation from God. And, and I think a lot of people say, well, why, why, do I, why is hell my, is everyone's destination? Why do I deserve hell? Well, that's because God is a perfect God and he wants relationship with people. But when we sin, it creates a barrier between us and God. It's the wall, it's the separation. Uh, it'd be like if you have a friendship and you ghosted them for a year. You couldn't just ignore that ghost. You couldn't just say that ghost doesn't exist. You would have to address it. At some point, you'd have to come back to the friend and say, friend, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Here's the thing with God though, our sin is so great and our sin was so big that it's not just something where we can say to God, God, I'm sorry, and it's just over with. We need a sacrifice. We need someone to take the place. We need someone to take the bullet. Now turn with me to Romans chapter six. Romans chapter six. This is so simple. This is what the Bible says concerning how you can for sure know you're saved. Romans chapter six and verse 23. It says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You do deserve hell. You do deserve death spiritually in your heart speaking. You do deserve to go to hell. We all deserve to go to hell, but it's because of Jesus that we can have life. It's because of Jesus, the gift from God, that if we will call on his name, if we will believe he died and rose again, if we'll believe in our hearts and confess with our mouth that he is Lord, we will be saved. Now turn with me to Romans chapter 10. I love this so much. Romans chapter 10. <laughs> Romans chapter 10 and verse 8. It says, the word is in your mouth, Romans chapter 10 and verse 8, and in your heart, the word of faith which we preach, that if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Listen, Jesus took the bullet of your sin. I'll say it like this. I, I used to have a hospital bill and I owed around $900. I deserved to pay the hospital $900. However, the hospital was gracious for me and they had this program where they pay the bill in my place. And when I found out that the hospital paid the bill in my place, guess what I did? I believed it. And then I started acting like it. I acted like I was free from the bill. Jesus is the same thing. We all owed a price to God. You could say you owed a lot of money to God. But instead of God trying to, for you to pay it back, God said, you know what, my son, my daughter, I know you can't pay it. I will send my son Jesus in your place. And when Jesus died on the cross in 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter two, this is what the gospel is. In 1 Peter chapter two, turn, hold up one quick second. 1 Peter chapter two and verse 24. Itself, Jesus, it says, 1 Peter two twenty four. Jesus bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness. So when Jesus was on the cross, that's what you could say, he was paying the bill of your life. So he was paying for your sins. I'll say it like this, if I shot a gun at you, the bullet was sin. You deserve to take the bullet in your head, you deserve to die. But Jesus stepped in front and took the bullet of sin. Here's the amazing thing though, Jesus was sent to the world, and I'll read that real quickly in John 3:16. Jesus was sent to the world, this free gift of salvation is sent to the world. But yet we know that today in this moment and in this time, there's people living in hell. Why? Well, a gift is exactly that. A gift cannot be forced on anyone. If I were to gift you $100, at some point you would have to receive it. I can't just throw $100 at you and you automatically have it. Uh, if I were to send it to your cash app, you'd have to receive it. If I were to Venmo you, it, you have to hit the button receive and then you have to transfer it to your bank account. And then you have to act upon it. It's the same way with God. God has sent Jesus 
but only those who believe on Jesus will see salvation. But don't worry, it's easy to believe. It's simple. It says in John 3:16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the truth, that God so loved the world that he sent his son Jesus, and now it's up to you to believe. You've heard about this salvation. Listen, you don't have to go to hell. You don't have to pay the price of your own sins. God's not mad at you. God has an amazing plan for your life, and he sent Jesus just for you. And so this salvation, it's so simple. I'll turn back over to Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10, it's so simple. Say that with me wherever you are. It's so simple. We're almost done. Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10, this is how you receive the gift. So now you've heard about the gift. Now you believe the gift. You believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again. Somebody says, well, I still have thoughts of doubt. Well, if you believe in your heart, it's so simple to believe in your heart. Uh, if you have someone in your life that you trust and they were to tell you, hey, we're going to Red Robin tonight, you'd start getting hungry. Now, you could doubt it and you could say, well, maybe we don't. I don't know how much money he has in his wallet. I don't know if he really, if he really trusts, if he really cares for me. Or you could just believe it in your heart. So with God, it's just simple. You just believe in your heart. Now, many people, even though they believe in their heart, they still have doubt in their head. In fact, I even have doubts in my head. Everyone has doubt in their head. But the difference between doubt in your head and doubt in your heart is, is, is whether or not you, uh, in your heart, it, it's just, you just know, you just believe. Uh, you just know that no matter what you see, God is real and Jesus died on the cross and he rose again. You just choose to accept it. Uh, I wish I could explain it more, but it, that's just the simple truth of it. You just accept it. You believe in your heart, you say it with your mouth. That's the simple truth. And that's why it says in Romans chapter 10, Romans chapter 10, watch this guys. If you will speak with your mouth, Jesus, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you speak with your mouth, Jesus, and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And then in Romans 10, 13, whoever will call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So wherever you are, right here, right in this moment, in this YouTube video, it's so simple. You've heard about the love of God. You've heard that he died on the cross for you. Right now, all you have to do is believe in your heart and speak it. Don't just believe in your heart. You've got to speak. Right now, wherever you are, just pray this with me. Pray this with me. Don't even think about it. Just pray. Are you ready? Close your eyes and pray this after me. Father, I believe your son Jesus died on the cross. He paid the price of my sins and he rose again. Jesus, you are Lord. Come into my life. I give you my heart. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer for the first time, welcome to the family. Did you feel that in your heart? Did you feel that warm, bubbly feeling in your heart when you prayed that? That's called salvation. It's called being born again. It's called knowing God. He lives inside your heart now. Love himself lives inside your heart. We're so thankful that you watched this YouTube video. Welcome to the family of God. Maybe, maybe you prayed that prayer for the fifth time or the 10th time, or maybe you're a Christian and you were just wondering, am I really saved? You can know always you are saved. You see, you're not going to heaven based on your works. You're going to heaven based on the finished work of Jesus. And so when you pray that prayer, you are saved. Simple, simple truth. You are saved. You can be sure. You can be confident. If you called on the name of the Lord, you are saved. Heaven is your home. Go tell someone one about this simple truth. The world needs to hear about the truth of, of Jesus' death and resurrection. It's what the world needs right now. It's so simple. They don't need to clean themselves up. Jesus cleans you up. But if you just pray that prayer for the first time, here's, here's the, the true reality. It's just the start. You've just started. And just like a mountain, to get to the top, you've got to start climbing. And I don't mean to get to heaven, you've got to start climbing. But I mean in your walk with God, you've, st you've got to start developing a relationship. You know, if you were to be my friend, we, would, we wouldn't start being best friends. You would start at some place and then we would get to know each other more and more and more. And God is the same way. You get to know him more and more and more. And so I encourage you, open up your Bible. Open up your Bible to John chapter one and start reading. Come join our Zoom Bible studies where you can, you can have a good time. We teach you how to read the Bible, all those things. In the link description below, there's a channel. It's called CC First. If you just gave your life to Jesus, go download the app Telegram and join that channel. On that channel, we'll give you some YouTube videos for following up. Also, we'll have our Zoom Bible studies that you can come and join and get discipled and all those good things. So click the Telegram link in the channel below 
to join our first. Now, if you pray that prayer for the second, third time, 10th time, 100th time, that's cool. That's cool. Come join our main channel. In fact, everyone can come join our main channel. You can click the link in the description below. It says CC Main. Download the app Telegram and join our main channel where we have Zoom Bible studies, YouTube links. We have a dance team. We have a worship team. We have a preach team. Teams just for you. Community just for you. God loves you so much. I'm so glad that you prayed that prayer. If you didn't, play this video back. Play this video back and pray it. It's so simple. You are saved. If you've called on the name of Jesus, you are saved. God loves you so much. Never forget that. Hashtag make Jesus viral. I'll see you on the Telegram channel below. We have Zoom Bible Studies YouTube live streams. We're also live on YouTube every Sunday night and Wednesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Time USA. I'll see you here YouTube live. Love you guys so much. Peace out. <laughs>